Where are you living now? Here in LA? No, I, I live in London most of... No, I live between London, Paris, and LA. You make me say it. It shouldn't come as a surprise that actress Salma Hayek and her French billionaire husband, Francois Pinel, live like royalty. The couple maintains a collection of homes scattered across the globe from London to Paris to Los Angeles and more. Just last year, it was reported that Salma and Francois moved out of their Bel Air mansion with plans to demolish it and build a monster sized palace of over 17,000 square feet in its place, which seems to still be in the works. Today, we'll take a look at a few of the property Selma and her husband share, including her charming Hollywood cottage she rents out, the Bel Air estate, and more. We even found the listings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Salma Hayek Pinal is a Mexican and American actress and producer who began her career in Mexico starring in the telenovela Teresa. In 1991, she moved to Hollywood, landing roles in films like Desperado, From Dusk Till Dawn, and more, leading her to fame. In 2002, Salma had her breakthrough portraying Mexican painter Frida Kahlo in the film Frida, where she was nominated for many awards, and furthermore, she also produced this movie. Frida was both a critical and commercial success. Since then, Selma has found success starring in a handful of TV series and films such as Grown Up, Savages, Like a Boss, and much more. At the time of this recording, her estimated net worth is at about $200 million, and while she married French businessman and billionaire Francois Henry Pinault in 2009, Selma has always prided herself in her financial independence. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, we post a new video daily. You guys requested this one, so today we're looking at where A-list actress Salma Hayek and her family call home. She and her husband have a handful of luxury properties as I mentioned, so we'll look at three of them including their Bel Air home and more. As you know, here we talk about celebrity houses, but have you ever wondered what David Dobrik spent on his Iron Man suit or about Conor McGregor's million dollar watches? We recently started a brand new channel, Famous Fashion, where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity fashion. Join us and be one of the first to subscribe. You don't want to miss this. The incredible diamond watch is called the Rasputin and has blue hands and a hidden sex scene that emerges with the touch of a button. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. For 20 years, the Oscar-nominated actress Salma has owned a modest mid-century bungalow in the Hollywood Hills that she put up for rent in 2015. It was reported at the time she was asking nearly 10 k a month for the estate, and while I'm not sure who's occupying the place currently, Salma still owns it. The 2,784 square foot house is the perfect LA starter pad, just 15 minutes from the Sunset Strip, and offers a laid-back vibe inside. Salma's ranch-style residence came fully furnished to rent offering four beds, three baths, and sat on just over half an acre of land. It's located in the celeb-packed Outpost Estates neighborhood, and Salma scored the property way back in 1986 for 537k. Inside, a combination living and dining room has a hearth fireplace, wooden floors, and wood plank mantelpiece. There was also a full wall of built-ins with open shelving and closed storage space. The neighboring family room boasted a vaulted ceiling and walls of floor-to-ceiling windows opening up onto the pool. The kitchen here has eating space for four stainless steel appliances and a breakfast nook. At least two of the bedrooms enjoy access to the deck outside through French doors, and the master suite has a bi-level walk-in closet and dressing room. The turquoise-colored ensuite bath is fitted with a clawfoot soaking tub and wood top vanity. Moving outside of this Hollywood cottage, there's a swimming pool and tiled terrace with elevated sun deck, all overlooking city and canyon views. Way back in 2007, it was reported Salma put down over $13 million on a Bel Air Road mansion that formerly belonged to Kelsey Grammer. At the time of the purchase, the house spanned about 7,000 square feet with seven beds and seven baths, but the photos released then were from before Kelsey Grammer lived in it. It's safe to say that changes and upgrades were made before Salma moved in. The Bel Air Road house is surrounded by some of the most expensive and impressive in states in Los Angeles, and the property occupies almost an acre of plush 
grounds looking over the city. Selma's 1940s era home previously had features like vaulted ceilings, white walls, sunny hallways with floor to ceiling glass, and an amazing pool out back. Selma and Francois completely remodeled the estate at least once while living here and spent hundreds of thousands on a second floor expansion and renovation. More recently, the Cape Cod style mansion boasts 8,000 square feet with 9 beds and 10 baths, as well as all of the modern upgrades. After living here for over 13 years, the high society couple wanted yet another major change. Salma is officially a former Bel Air resident, at least for now. In 2020, it was reported they packed up and moved out of the mansion with an army of contracted workers coming in to help out. As rumors go, Salma and Francois have departed after submitting plans to demolish the entire residence and replace it with a 17,500 square foot modern mega mansion. While it hasn't been publicly announced if the plans were approved, Proved the couple did move forward with the demolition. Documents filed last year showed that plans were laid out for a new two-story residence with over 10,000 square feet above grade and 6,000 or more square feet below grade. A source familiar with the deal did confirm that Salma's behind these plans, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see what the new mansion looks like when it's complete. Before we wrap things up, let's talk about where Salma and her hubby stay when they're overseas. Well, at least when they're in London. It was said the couple moved from Paris to a rental in West London in 2014 and in 2017 began to rent a 14 bedroom house in Hampstead that once was occupied by Justin Bieber. This charming estate is set over three floors and has features like an indoor swimming pool, gym, movie theater, wine cellar, and tennis court. The historic home was built in 1910 and renovated more recently, but still contains a number of period features like this sweeping staircase. The dining room seats up to 10 and contains some of the mansion's original features, such as the mahogany fireplace, while the luxury master suite boasts a separate lounge area. Outside, the grounds span a sprawling 25 acres where there's another pool in the backyard. It appears Selma is still living lavish in this mansion with her family after sharing a photo by that same jaw-dropping staircase last year. The star was meant to be showcasing her chic outfit in her Instagram post, but the backdrop almost stole the show thanks to the grand wooden stairs. Selma's friend and co-star Tiffany Haddish also dished on what it's like to stay at Selma's home. In an interview with The Guardian, and Tiffany said, When I arrived in London, I was staying at Selma Hayek's house. She's my friend now. I get there and her house is like a palace. And then she says, okay, pick a room. And I'm like, First off, the fact that you tell me to pick a room is amazing. Then she shows me her closet, and it is the most amazing thing in the world. Gucci, whatever, everything. And I'm like, I'll sleep in here. And with the pictures I've seen, it really does seem Selma's London house is like a castle. So I think I'll bring this house tour to an end right there. After looking at three of actress Selma Hayek's estates across the globe, what did you think? I think all of them were classy and elegant like the star herself, and I wouldn't expect anything less from her and her billionaire hubby. If you guys had to choose, which was your fave of her homes? I think they're all gorgeous, but we've yet to see what the new Bellar Mansion is going to look like. Personally, I'm a fan of the London estate because I love anything historic like that, especially all of those period features. Move me in. Be sure to tell me your thoughts down in the comments, as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see next. Also, like and subscribe to my personal channel if you haven't already. I love seeing you guys comment and getting to know you better over there. Link you my latest video. They've gotten so used to having me here. Having you. That even when I leave to go film into the office for a few hours, you miss me. But I miss them too. Right, Fitz? Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.